So how y'all doing, guys? We're going to read a quick article on why cow's milk. So this article, I think, was released like two months ago, a month ago, and I thought it was interesting. It was talking about why do we drink cow's milk as opposed to other animals' milk? Because cows are mammals, you know, whales are mammals, you know, deer are mammals. Why do we drink cow's milk as opposed to other animals, other mammals' milk? So we're going to dive into the article. We're going to read. We're going to look at some vocabulary words, and we're going to see how we can pronounce these words like a native speaker, okay? So let's dive into the video. Why cow's milk? In 2021, the United States produced more milk than any other country. But why do Americans drink milk from cows instead of milk from goats, deer, bison, or whales? The first part of the answer is simple. Deborah Valenzi, professor of history at Bernard College, explains that cows are gentle. They don't usually mind when you try to milk them, but most animals aren't so relaxed. If you've ever been around a goat, you know that they are very jumpy, she says. Quantity is another reason. Even large animals like reindeer can make only a cup or two of milk each day. Some cows make more than seven gallons of milk every 24 hours. So it's much easier for farmers to make a living with the amount of milk produced by cows. Finally, there's the matter of taste. Goat cheese and goat milk has a strong smell. Cow milk has enough flavor to add something when we cook with it, but not overpowering. There are plenty of milks available in stores that don't come from an animal. There's almond milk, soy milk, and oat milk, to name just a few. These new options have started to reduce the amount of milk, cow milk Americans drink each year, though slightly. Some businesses are trying to get Americans interested in camel's milk. Camel's milk is slightly sweeter and saltier than cow's milk. So now let's look at some of these pronunciation of these words. So this word is pronounced produced. A lot of people say produced, but it's pronounced produced. You hear me? Produced, like a hard T at the, at the end. Instead of the sid, it's produced, right? And then we have some, let's see another word. This word, usually, usually. I sometimes hear some of my students say, usually, ooh. Um, so you would pronounce it you, usually, usually. Another word, relaxed. A lot of people say relaxed, relaxed. You hear the T? Relaxed. Okay, let's see some other ones. This word is pronounced quantity. Quantity. Mm, I think this is pretty good. This word is pronounced overpowering. This word is pronounced enough. Enough. Another word that a lot of people like to say available. Available. Available is the correct pronunciation available mm. this word is pronounced these the th when you make words with the th you have to use your tongue so look at my tongue these these this word right here, though, though, though. Mm. 
Okay, so that was some of the words that I think that I hear some of my students have problems with. So let's go back up here and let's look at some vocabulary words. Okay, so the first word that I see is uh, this phrase, don't mind. So the cows don't usually mind when you try to milk them. So when you try to milk them, they're not bothered about it. So when we use don't mind, is that I, I don't, it's no problem for me. I don't mind if we go here. I don't mind if we go to the park later. I, I don't, it's no problem for me. I, we can go. Okay, so the next word is, let's see if I see another word. Okay, yeah, this word right here. So jumpy. Jumpy is an adjective for someone who's anxious or someone or something that's anxious, they're jumpy, they're uneasy, they're nervous, right? So if you've ever been around a, a goat, you can see that they're always jumpy. They're, bah, bah, you know, they're everywhere. <laughs> so the, uh, Deborah says that if you've ever been around a goat, you know that they're very jumpy. They like to jump a lot. They, they're anxious. They're nervous. Okay, we got jumpy. Quantity. I think in some languages, quantity is very similar. Um, so quantity is a, a large amount of something. You have ample amount. You have a huge amount of something. So Deborah says that quantity is another reason. Because if we read down, she says that large animals like reindeers, I don't know if you guys know what a reindeer is. Let me see if I can show a picture of a reindeer. Uh, let's look at some pictures of reindeer. Reindeer. So like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, right? So this is a, a reindeer. So even large animals like reindeer, they only make one cup of milk a day. This big animal can only make one cup of milk a day. So quantity is another reason. Some cows make more than seven gallons of milk each day, right? So in the United States, we use gallons. This is the metric system that we use. We use gallons. So one gallon is 4.5 liters. So seven gallons is 31, almost 32 liters. So cows can make 32 liters worth of milk as opposed to a reindeer can only make one cup of milk in one day, one or two cups of milk in one day. Thirst him, give me some water one second. <laughs> so, quantity, the large amount of something. Let's see if we can find some other vocab words. Finally, there's a matter of taste. Goat cheese and goat milk have a strong smell. Cow milk has enough flavor. I think that's clear to add something when we cook with, but not overpowering. So overpowering is strong. It means something that's too strong. It's, it's, it's intense. It's overwhelming. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever tasted cow milk. I mean, goat milk, but as opposed to cow milk, Cow milk has no smell, like almost like no smell, but goat milk has a smell to it. If you ever smell goat milk, you can see that you can notice that it has a smell to it. So this is what they mean by it's overpowering. It's strong. Intense. Mm hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Okay. 
So let's pronounce this word again. If you guys can try to pronounce that word, try to pronounce it uh, again by yourself. Give yourself a second and try to pronounce this word again. So that word is pronounced though, which is a conjunction, right? Like although, right? So though slightly, slightly means just a few, like it's not a lot, it's a small degree, it's just a little bit. So they're saying that in America, we drink almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, just to name a few. These options have started to bring down the amount of milk that Americans drink, but it's slightly, it's just a little bit. We still drink a lot of milk, a lot of cow milk to be exact, okay? so. This is what they mean by that, right? Uh, some businesses are trying to get Americans interested in camel's milk, which is interesting. And camel's milk is slightly sweeter, just a little bit sweeter and saltier than cow's milk. So I've never had camel's milk. Maybe some of you guys have tried camel's milk, but I think I'm going to stick to my cow milk and goat milk. I drink goat milk. I, I drink goat milk from time to time. I think it's it's, it's okay for me. It's like it's, like they said in the article, it's a little strong with the smell, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Gold milk is pretty good. And for you guys who don't know what bison, so we've seen deer, which is reindeer. Let's just see a picture of bison and whales, and then we can end the video there. I don't know if you guys have any questions. You can leave them in the comment section, but we're going to look at bison, and then we're going to look at whales just in case you guys don't know. So in America, we have a lot of bison. I don't know if it's prevalent in other countries, but bison is is, is, is prevalent in the United States. And whales, which is, I think you guys know what whales are, but just so you guys can see what whale is, this is a whale, which is interesting that whales are mammals a lot of people didn't know that whales are mammals but they are mammals and they produce milk so um i've never had whale milk but i heard that you know it's pretty pretty um pretty good i've heard so we're going to end the video there and if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comment section i will see you guys in the next video peace